<laughs> what is going on everyone today i'm going to be watching and reacting to game of thrones season 7 episode 6 which is titled beyond the wall obviously referring to them actually going beyond the wall that awesome group of guys you know headed to get a white walker and bring it back to king's landing that just seems like such a crazy plan to me and i don't see it going smoothly whatsoever I don't exactly know the whole purpose because, I mean, yes, if you prove that the White Walkers exist to Cersei, do they really think that's going to make a difference in what Cersei wants to do? I don't think Cersei's going to really care. She, you know, she'll know they exist and then she'll just be like, okay, well, how can I use these to try to kill all of you? <laughs> you know, that, that's what she's going to do. So I don't really know, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what this plan is actually going to fully, how it's going to fully work out in practice. One thing I would like to mention, I did mention this in the edited version of my last reaction, but the note that Arya found in that room that Littlefinger put it in, I did realize afterwards had a couple Patreon users, you know, remind me of that note from season one. And I did go back and actually watch that scene because I remembered it. I just kind of forgot it in that moment. I just, when someone told me, I was like, oh yeah, okay, that note, uh, the one that Sansa was forced to write by, uh, well, I guess Cersei kind of forced her to write it, just basically saying what happened to Robert, and also the fact that Ned was, you know, being tried for treason, essentially. And I believe that that probably means Littlefinger purposely put it there for Arya to find. So then Arya can now try to go against Sansa, and obviously Littlefinger wants that because the more chaos, the better it is for him obviously that's kind of his whole thing if you know as much chaos as possible he'll come out on top so that's essentially what he's probably trying to do there and yeah so let's just jump right into this episode it's a pretty long one it's an hour 16 minutes so honestly i got a i got a slim feeling this might be the finale i like i said i don't know which episode is the finale i purposely did not want to know we won't know until the end credits. Once we get to the credits, that's when we'll actually find out whether or not this is the finale. So let's jump right into it. If you want to see full and cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon link. That will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Oh, that was cool. They were looking into the fire. Well, yeah, I mean, these guys were uh, looking into the fire quite a bit. So, and they saw something out here, something with an arrow on a mountaintop or something. Ever been north before? Never seen snow before. Oh my god. I can breathe again. Down <laughs> south, the air smells like pig shit. You've never been down south. <laughs> I've been to Winterfell. That's the north. <laughs> uh, I love these conversations. You got to keep moving, that's the secret. Walking's good, fighting's better, bucking's best. There's not a living woman within 100 miles of here. We have to make do with what we've got. <laughs> Gedry's like, you talking about me? And she'll only fight beside us if I bend the knee. You spent too much time with the free folk. Now you don't like kneeling. Man's Raider was a brave man. A proud man. The king beyond the wall never bent the knee. He even How died many for of it. His people died for his pride. Yeah. I'm glad we're going back to the north, because I honestly thought we'd never see it this far again. You sold me to a witch. <laughs> we're fighting a great war. Wars cost money. I wanted to join the Brotherhood, but you sold me Yeah, off. that was fucked up. The Brotherhood, mostly good dudes, but that was the one thing they did that was kind of fucked up. She strapped me down on the bed. She stripped me naked. Sounds all right so far. <laughs> she needed your blood. Yes, thank you. I know that. <laughs> she wanted to kill me. But they would have killed me if it wasn't but for that. But they didn't, did they? So what you're whinging about? This one's been killed six times. You don't hear him bitching about it. Well, because he came back to life. I feel like being close to death is is much worse than actually dying and coming back. Actually, is it? No, that, what the fuck am I talking about? I don't know. It deserved a better son. Were you with him at the end? I was a prisoner of the wildlings. He even has a sword. I want you to know that every mutineer found justice. Can't think of a worse way for him to go. The Night's Watch was his life. Yeah. Your father wanted to execute me, you know. I heard. He was in the right, of course. Didn't make me hate him any less. I'm glad he didn't catch you. Wasn't the sword meant for Jorah as well? Your father gave me this yeah. sword. <laughs> I literally just said that. <laughs> Is he going to give it to him because it was meant for him? Oh, come on. But you need the sword. You're too good with that sword. It's not right for me to have it. He gave it to you. I'm not his son. He's going to give it back. I brought shame into my house. 
broke my father's heart. I forfeited the right to claim this sword. We've seen so many scenes like this in this show where someone gives someone a sword, but then they give it back because they're like, it's not, I don't deserve it. I don't, I don't worth it. Wait, I want to see what he's, I missed what he said there. Sorry. Serve you well. Mate, serve you well. And your children after you. And your children after you. Is he going to have kids? Who's he going to have kids with though? <laughs> I, he doesn't got, Ygritte's not around. I don't know. He's got to find a, I, I mean, I guess if he's going to be a king of the north, he's got to find a queen, right? I don't know who that would be. Don't Why worry. I realize my stupidity with this comment a little bit later. <laughs> nah, I mean, I don't know. They've literally met once, but I, th I think it would work. Dad used to watch us from up here. He wouldn't say much. You probably don't remember you're inside knitting all the time. <laughs> Damn, Arya. Oh, well, she saw that note, so she's going to probably bring it up. Now he's dead. Killed by the Lannisters. With your help. Come on. Hopefully Sansa can explain it. Please, Sansa, explain it. You were literally held captive by them, forced to do it. Just, just explain that. It's not that hard. If Arya doesn't believe you, then she's a piece of shit. Straight up. <laughs> Rob, I write to you today with heavy heart. Our good King Robert is dead. Killed from wounds he took in a boar hunt. You don't have to read it, I remember. My father has been charged with treason. The Lannisters are treating me well and providing me with every comfort. I beg you, come to King's Landing. Swear fealty to King Joffrey. She was forced. They forced me to do it. Did they? With a knife at your throat? Did they put you on a rack and stretch you until your bones started to pop? Okay, well, not that far, but was she was child. also, yeah, she was really young. I would have let them kill me before I betrayed my family. Well, you two aren't the same, all right? I remember you standing on that platform with Joffrey and Cersei when they dragged father to the block. I remember the pretty dress you were wearing. I remember the fancy way you did your hair. She passed out when his head was cut off. You were there? I was there, standing in the crowd near Baelor's statue. And what did you do? Did you come running to the rescue? She was actually gonna. That one guy stopped her. I didn't betray our entire family for my beloved Joffrey. <laughs> you should uh. be on your knees thanking me. Okay, all right. The Knights of the Vale won the battle and they rode north for me while you were off where? Traveling the world? I was training. Well, while you were training, I suffered things you can never imagine. Oh, I don't know about that. I can imagine quite a lot. <laughs> I'm not even on either of their sides, to be honest. I'm really not on either of their sides. They're both kind of being petty, but they both have reasons to be. It's, it's I don't know. It's one of those things. What are you scared of? You didn't commit any crimes. No one's going to hang you. Who are you? You're scared I'll show to John and he'll be angry. No. That's not John. He'll understand. You were just a scared little girl. He would understand because he's a good person and he knows his own sister. That's what she's always wanted to tell You're us. Scared the Northern Lords will read it. They wouldn't think much of Lady Sansa if they knew how she did Cersei's bidding. What would little Lyanna Mormont say? She's younger than you were when you wrote this. Are you going to say, but I was just a child? Well, she's different than her. They're, they're diff You're comparing different people, Arya. Calm down. I'm at least glad Arya does kind of, she, she, I think she believes that Sansa was forced. She just thinks she's a coward for doing that. But can you really be that mad at her, you know? How far north are they going to go? Like, there's got to be a limit, right? Did you trip into the fire when you were a baby? Are you just trying to piss him off? Will you fuck off? I don't think you truly mean. You have sad eyes. You want to suck my dick, is that it? <laughs> I have a beauty waiting for me back in Winterfell. Bro, that's if she wants you, man. I don't know if she does. Tallest woman you've ever seen. Almost as tall as you. Brienne of Tarth. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but I see the way she looks at me. I just she looks at you. And she wants to carve you up and into your liver. <laughs> I want to make babies with her. Think of them. Great big monsters. They would be, honestly, yeah. You don't look much like him. Who's that? Your father. I suppose you favor your mother. Well, there's a reason for that. Your wildling friend told me the Red Woman brought you back. Thoris has brought me back. Oh yeah, they were both brought back. You and I won't find much joy while we're here, but we can keep others alive. We can defend those who can't defend themselves. Beric's a great character. That's what I saw on the fire. Oh, the mountain? A mountain like an arrowhead. Oh, it's like an arrowhead. I thought he said there was an arrowhead on the mountain. <laughs> We're getting close. Oh, shit. If they come across the army, what are they going to do? That's the thing. This un The only reason I don't understand this plan is like, what are you going to do if you come across the army? You're fucked. You're, you're, you're completely fucked. Heroes do stupid things and they die. 
Drogo, Jorah, Dario, even this, Jon Snow, they all try to outdo each other. <laughs> it's interesting, these heroes you name. Drogo, Jorah, Dario, yeah. even this, Jon Snow. Does she have a feel- does she have- does she have- does she have some feelings for Jon? She definitely does. She does. A hundred percent she has feelings. She- she thinks he's hot. Come on. hundred percent. Jon probably thinks she is too though, let's be real. They're gonna get together. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm... Uh, bro. <laughs> I was talking about that before. I was like, oh, that'd be cool if they got together, right? Just completely forgetting the fact that he's her fucking nephew. Just forget I said anything. Just but please forget I said anything. Nobody trusts my sister less than I do, believe me. But if we go to the capital, we'll go with two armies... We'll go with three dragons. Anyone touches you, King's Landing burns down to the foundation stones. And right now she's thinking about to set a trap. Of course she is. And she's wondering what trap you're laying for her. Are we? Yeah, what are you going to show up and bring a White Walker? I don't know. I'm not sure deceit and mass murder is the best way to stop. <laughs> Which always won yeah, without deceit and mass murder. Oof. We need to inspire a degree of fear, but fear is all Cersei has. True. Because everyone beneath them longs to see them dead. That is what I've been saying this whole time. You once spoke to me of breaking the wheel. Exactly. My brother promised me he'd keep a grip on the Lannister forces. Forgive me, but I don't care about any Lannister promises. And I promised him I'd keep you from doing anything impulsive. She's being really impulsive lately, I'll be honest. <laughs> this will be a difficult negotiation. We're sitting down with people who want to see us both headless. My sister's likely to say something provocative. And? And you have been known to lose your temper from time to time. From time to time. You need to take your enemy's side if you're going to see things the way they do. And you need to see things the way they do if you're going to anticipate their actions, respond effectively, and beat them. I'm sorry, I agree with Tyrion. I do. I, I, I also partially see her perspective. It's just, I don't know. I think I'm on Team Tyrion here. I've probably always been on Team Tyrion, to be honest. You want to know who sits on the Iron Throne after I'm dead? You say you can't have children. But there are other ways of choosing a successor. That is true. You don't have to have kids if you come up with something else. And I saw hundreds of arrows miss, but any one of them could have found your heart and ended you. You've been thinking about my death quite a bit, haven't you? <laughs> come on. We will discuss the succession after I wear the crown. Daenerys really needs to just have some conversations because I feel like she's just shutting down anything Tyrion's trying to say. They're going to come. Is that a horse? Wait, wait, wait. If they come across Benjen, I would be so happy because... What is that? That is not a horse. Is that a... A bear? Oh, is it... Oh, it has... It has blue eyes. <laughs> it has blue eyes. Oh, shit. <laughs> this guy's done for. I don't even know if this guy... <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. You can't even see anything. It's so snowy. This is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> the fire swords. Who who the hell was I don't even know what's happening. A fire bear is probably the hound's worst nightmare. Is that Thoros? I can't even tell who it is. I think that was Thoros. He's got the flaming sword, so it should be- Oh! <laughs> come on, Thoros, come on! No! No, come on, man, come on! Oh, no. And that was just one bear. Jesus, dude, is he gonna die? I hope not. We have to get him back to Wastewatch. You're gonna go all the way back. I don't think it would matter. He would probably die before you even got there. The flaming swords is so cool, though. The fact that they could, they could just ignite it out of nowhere. Like, that's so cool. Oh, did I, like, cauterize it? We're getting towards the end of the show, so I'm definitely expecting more people to die. The two guys here that we didn't know died, though, I think. <laughs> or at least one of them. Well, I don't know. There's Was there two of them? It's just so damn snowy, it's hard to see what's going on. Where did she get it? I don't know. 
Oh, don't talk to little figure about this. She trusts him too much. You should not be trusting this man. You've seen what he's done before. Come on. They respect you. Some may even prefer you. Yes, they turned their backs on John when it was time to retake Winterfell. Then they named him their king, and now they're ready to turn their backs on him again. How far would you trust men like that? Littlefinger is one of those men. <laughs> By the time John comes back, he'll have no army left. I is not like them. She's your sister. We may have disagreements, but she would never betray her family. She would if she thought I was going to betray John. Perhaps Lady Brienne could help. What does he have planned? And if one of you were planning to harm the other in any way, wouldn't she be on a bound to intercede? She would. How drunk were you when you charged through the breach on Pike? If I'm being honest, I don't remember charging through the breach. <laughs> the Ironborn thought you were some kind of god while you were waving that flaming sword. What is a? Uh... Oh, oh my god, they're right there! Well, it's not a lot of them, but it's at least some of them, which is actually perfect. That's exactly what they need. So are they going to take a white walker or just a white? I don't know. I obviously it'd be easier to take a white, but is it going to be easier at all? I don't know. What are they going to put on a rope and like hope it doesn't try to kill them? It's, it's not going to listen to reason. You're not going to be able to be like, oh, I'll kill you if you don't stop. So do they have something to knock it? I don't know. I'm just going to let the show show me instead of asking a million questions. <laughs> The makeup work on these guys are just amazing. Come on, come on. Nice. Oh, so it takes all of them out? Like within that area? Well, there's one of them, right? Why did it only take the other ones out and not this one? Damn. <laughs> Distant rumbling. Oh no, no, no. There's gonna be a bunch of them, isn't there? Yo, y'all need to go. Y'all need to go. This is no time for hanging around. This is a lot of their first time ever seeing these, which is kind of interesting. Run back to Eastwood. Get a raven to Daenerys. Tell her what's happened. I'm not leaving you. You're the fastest. Go now. Oh shit. Holy shit. Oh. Oh no. A frozen lake. Oh. Those are always so terrifying. Oh my god. You can't- Oh no, someone's dying. I know someone's gonna die. There's no way they're all making it out of here alive. I still can't get behind this plan. Like, this plan to me was just- I don't think it was a good plan. <laughs> someone's falling in the water, I know it. Who the hell was that that fell under? It might have been one of the red shirts, I don't know. <laughs> If we don't know their name, I don't care. Oh my god! <laughs> and they're all falling in. Now how are they going to get out of here, though? They're quite literally going to be stuck. Bro, this is insane. This is... This is too much. Oh, they're still here at night? <laughs> Who was carrying? I mean, maybe the Hound? Because, I mean, he's probably the strongest one here, right? Dude, the blue eyes are so terrifying. What is it? No! Bro, you gotta get back. Oh, nice, nice. They're opening the gates. But telling Daenerys what's happening, what is that really gonna matter for them? Is Daenerys gonna fly all the way here? Raven! We need to send a raven! I mean, sure, maybe you can send a raven to Daenerys, tell her to fly her dragon out here to, to help them, but like, I'd, I'd, is she gonna do that? I don't know. <laughs> Oh no. Oh shit. Fuck. They say it's one of the better ways to go. Freezing to death? Well, he's gonna become one, because, I mean, he, first of all, he was bitten by a bear, a white bear, right? Wouldn't he become one? And now he's dead, unless they burn him on fire? We have to burn his body. Okay, that, that's what I thought they were gonna do. Unless the Lord of Light is kind enough to send us a bit of fire. There you go. 
<laughs> yeah, that's all he has to do. <laughs> we'll free soon. That's all the water. And then they can come right across. When you killed the White Walker, almost all the dead that followed it fell. That is true. Maybe he was the one who turned them. Oh, okay. We can go for the walkers. We need to take that thing back with us. There's another. What? Killed him. How the fuck are you gonna kill those? They're up there. That's the, is that the Night King? It looks like him. Okay. My lady. What is this about? It's an invitation to King's Landing. What? My lady, you are the Lady of Winterfell. I am. And you will represent my interests at this gathering as you see them. They invited you. They want you there. I will not set foot in King's Landing while Cersei Lannister is queen. Let me at least leave Podrick behind to watch over you. He has become a competent swordsman. I do not need to be watched over or minded or cared for. All right, it's not just be, it's not bad to have though, Sansa. Come on. It's not bad to have someone watching your back. It doesn't matter if you need it or not. It's good to have. If I abandon The trip you? to King's Landing is long, Lady Brienne, and you won't be traveling on summer roads. The sooner you leave, the better your chances of making it on time. Wait, was this all... Oh, this was all part of Littlefinger's plan, wasn't it? To get Brienne out of here. There was no... Oh, fucking Littlefinger. He's such a fucking... Um, he's a piece of shit. The most important person in the world can't fly off to the most dangerous place. Wait, is she actually gonna go? <laughs> oh, she has a dope outfit. Holy shit, that is awesome. What the hell? The costume team is amazing in this show. Look at that. Look at that thing. If you die... We're all lost. I love that chain with the dragons, on, dragon heads on it. So she's gonna go all the way there and kill all those White Walkers. <laughs> Are we gonna see this this episode? This maybe this is the finale. I don't know. This feels like a finale. Yeah, she's gonna be the one to save them. I mean, how many times has she come in last second and saved people? Quite a few. Quite a few with those dragons. Dragons are probably the most useful thing they got out here, to be honest. He just had to do that. Maybe they... Yeah, so they could cross. They must... They have a... They have a smart enough mind to know not to cross right now. Oh. Fuck. Oh, this one's gonna cross. Oh, shit. And it's not breaking. And if this one realizes it's not breaking, then they're all gonna come rushing, right? Because they're only not crossing because they're afraid of falling in, which... It's crazy that they even have that... You know, and now on the brain power to even do that. I thought they were just brainless. I there might be a hive mind with the White Walkers, maybe. <laughs> Thoros is or not Thoros, Beric is so badass. Damn. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Yeah, I mean, Daenerys is gonna have to save them with a the dragon. That's the only thing she can. I feel like the North is pretty big. How is she gonna know exactly where to go? I guess she's just gonna literally fly everywhere. <laughs> Come on. No! Oh, that was awesome. I feel like Beric is doing the most damage right now. I'm telling you, fire is the best weapon against these guys. We've known that since like season one, <laughs> when John first came across the white. What do you mean fall back? Where are they gonna fall back to? They're surrounded. No! No. I'm like, just hoping something's gonna happen and not let him die. Okay, all right, good, good, good. You can't fight them all off. Like, it has to be the dragon that's gonna save him. There's, there's nothing else that can save him right now. 
I mean, I'm surprised they're still fighting them off, though. Like, this is really impressive, regardless. <laughs> that was an awesome move with the sword. I'm glad we're getting to see all this. Holy shit! Holy shit! That's a really cool shot. <laughs> it has to be the drag. Seeing the dragon in the snow is gonna be really cool. I, I gotta say, but it has to be that. I, I there's nothing else I can possibly think of that would possibly be able to save them right now, other than Daenerys getting on that damn dragon. Yup. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, it was very obvious, but still. It was very obvious that was <laughs> it's very obvious that was gonna happen. And theoretically she could just pick them up, right? I mean, I don't know if they could all fit, but I have no idea. Oh, they could definitely fit. Those dragons are huge. Never mind. They could fit. Just hold on tight. <laughs> it literally is two episodes ago one of these dragons were burning people to bits, and now they're burning dead people. <laughs> I love how she picked that outfit out. It perfectly fit with the north. <laughs> Like, did she, did she actually think about it before putting that outfit on? Like, oh, I'm going to the north. I got to put on this white uh, dress. Like, <laughs> Oh, fuck. No. He's going to throw that damn spear. I swear to God, if that hits, if that hits anyone. He's going to throw that spear. Yo, he's close. The dragon? All it took was one ice spear to just completely kill it? Oh, Daenerys is gonna be pissed. This is gonna put all her energy into fighting the White Walkers now. <laughs> Fuck Cersei, she's... Oh my god. All it took was one ice spear. Imagine getting hit with that yourself. John, you have to hurry, man. They can't- they have to go. Bro, John, you can't be doing this right now! He's like, till we meet again. <laughs> no, wait for John. No! What the fuck? Oh my god. Nah, they, 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 nah, he died once, he ain't dying again. Holy shit! No! Don't you dare let go of that motherfucker! <coughs> Sorry, I'm choking. Don't you dare let go of that motherfucker. Okay, what the fuck's gonna happen to John? He's gonna, he, 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 obviously they didn't show him dying. He's gonna live. But how? He's underwater, surrounded by these motherfuckers. Sorry I keep cursing, by the way. When I'm, when I'm getting too into a show, I start cursing a lot. That's just how I am. I don't know. And he's gonna grab the, yeah. <laughs> but he has to walk all the way back to Eastwatch. I hope Benjen finds him. They gotta bring back Benjen. Come on. We're back in the north. There's no way they're not gonna bring back Benjen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bro, John, you can't take these on yourself! Don't even think about trying to take them on. Go! Leave! Oh, my God. It's just like the Battle of the Bastards. He was getting ready to charge all of them. Like, you can't. Yes, it is Benjen! <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. Sure, very convenient, but I don't give a flying fuck. This is awesome. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care how convenient it is. It is so convenient. Stupidly convenient, but I don't care. I don't care. You're right for the path. Come with me. Slot ahead. Go! Oh, he's just... <laughs> that's it? Just a nice little, I'm here. I'm still alive, but not really alive. Kind of like partially dead. 
Oh, no, he's going to take them on. Oh, the music. Oh, that's so sad. The music. Same music when John was about to get hit by the Bolton army in Battle of the Bastards. It's literally the same music. Or it's close to it, at least. Oh, it is the same music. I'm glad they brought him back for that, but regardless of how convenient it was. That was a weird... I honestly, this is one of the... <laughs> this is a fucking crazy episode, but like... We'll, t we'll talk after the episode. I got a lot to say. I, I, I wonder if this is the finale, but I don't know. Like I said, we're not going to know until the credits, so... We'll meet again, Clegane. Fucking hope not. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't have a bigger reaction to seeing dragons. Or even the White Walkers, too, for the first time. Like, those are two huge things that, like, the Hound, for example, he just, like, saw for the first time today. That's sad one of the dragons died, though. It's time to go, Your Grace. A bit longer. And they're gonna, they're gonna see a horse with John on it. Come riding. Yep. Imagine the whole army is right behind him. How insane would that be? She definitely does feel things for John, which is kind of gross, because... <laughs> Obviously, she doesn't know that, but still. Oh, yeah, you can see the wounds. The multiple stab wounds. This was quite an interesting episode. Like I said, one of the most interesting episodes in the whole show, if I'm going to be honest. And I'll explain why. Oh, this is, this is Arya's room? Because those are the faces, so it's got to be Arya's stuff. Not what you're looking for. I have hundreds of men here at Winterfell, all loyal to me. They're not here now. What are these? My faces. <laughs> Where did you get them? In Braavos, while I was training to be a faceless man. Is there someone else you think should rule the North instead of him? Those faces. What are they? We both wanted to be other people when we were younger. You wanted to be a queen, to sit next to a handsome young king on the Iron Throne. I wanted to be a knight. To pick up a sword like father and go off to battle. Neither of us got to be the other person, did we? The world doesn't just let girls decide what they're going to be. But I can now. With the faces, I can choose. I can become someone else. I could even become you. Okay, Arya, you're kind of scaring me right now. Arya, what the fuck? This is a joke, right? This has to be a joke. I wonder what it would feel like. This has to be a joke. To wear those pretty dresses. To be the Lady of Winterfell. Arya, you're joking, right? All I'd need to find out your face why are you doing shit like this man <laughs> like come on <laughs> you don't have to do this <laughs> threatening your sister like that come on aria and she's gonna be staring right at him oh yeah she's in love she's in love i'm sorry or maybe she has this connection where she could she could tell they're related i wish we'd never gone yeah, he probably shouldn't have gone. It wasn't the best idea. <laughs> if we hadn't gone, I wouldn't have seen. You have to see it to know. The dragons are my children. They're the only children I'll ever have. Do you understand? We are going to destroy the Night King and his army. Hell yes. That's what I wanted to hear. Are you going to do that first or Cersei first? Thank you, darling. Is he the first person to call her Danny? <laughs> yeah, I feel like no one's ever called her that before. I've heard people call her Danny before in my comments, to be honest. Not about my queen. Wow. Yeah, John never really cared. In the knee. Yeah, he never really cared about being king. <laughs> this is a nice moment. They better not kiss, though. I think I'd throw up. <laughs> they have giant chain. What the hell are they doing with these? They're pulling something out of the water. The dragon? Wait, yo! Are they gonna... Are they gonna fucking turn the dragon to their side? Oh, we're gonna have a drag, A dead dragon? A dragon white? Okay, that would be the coolest thing ever. I'm sorry, that would be absolutely and amazingly cool. We better see those dragons go at it. Oh my god, that is so exciting. That shit is... That shit sounds cool. I'm sorry, it sounds cool as hell. <laughs> Yep, all you do is touch it. Oh my god, the eye's gonna open up. Blue eye. <laughs> awesome. Okay, is that the finale? No, there is another episode. Okay, so we're not at the finale yet. Okay, I'm glad about that. 
honestly. <laughs> I I don't know how many more episodes, but whatever. So uh, I got quite a few things to say, like quite a few things. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the Winterfell stuff. I, I think it makes sense why this is a thing. At the same time, it's like I'm not really agreeing with either of them. I feel like they both have... So, okay, first of all, Arya has her reasons to be suspicious of Sansa based on that that note, right? I understand. Everything else, though, I don't really understand her suspicions, like her last episode not, you know, immediately defending Jon against these people's complaints. I, I don't really think that's something to be suspicious about. Like, she's just, it's really not that deep. She's just trying to, you know, keep away co from conflict she's trying to avoid conflict that's pretty much what she's doing here she doesn't have to you know defend john every single breath she has that just doesn't make sense right and then for the note i understand why she'd be suspicious of it maybe call her a coward for it okay sure whatever but acting like it's something that you know she's like she deserves a ton amount of a scrutiny for it is just a bit much i feel like Arya's taking that a little too far and on the flip side i feel like well i mean now, there's more Arya's doing, like threatening to kill her at the end. There, Jesus Christ! I don't know if it's threatening to kill her, but it was close to it at least. I mean, calm down, Arya, chill out. And then Sansa is trusting way too much of, you know who, Litterflinger, even though she's seen the things he's done. Like we we've seen her witness what he's done before. Not everything. She doesn't know everything, but she knows a great deal of it. So to me. I feel like they're both just, they have this weird amount of rage towards each other that I think they just need to both sh to stop. Like, they need to just sit down and realize that they're on the same side, they're sisters, the real enemy is not each other. They're they're just, they're fighting over stuff that just does not need to be fought over. Um, and of course, most of it is manufactured by Littlefinger. And hopefully they can resolve that within the next couple episodes, because I, I, they need to resolve that shit. <laughs> they're gonna work together and, you know, be a good... Good team. And then we have everything in the North. So I think it was very entertaining. I think everything about this episode, fighting the White Walkers, fighting a white bear, all that shit was so entertaining. I still can't get behind that plan, though. I don't understand exactly why they felt the need to prove it to Cersei. Like, that'll make a big difference in the war against Cersei. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference. I don't think Cersei's going to suddenly go, oh, well... I guess I gotta join you all and help you defeat the White Walkers. No, she's gonna be thinking, how can I turn this against you guys? And I, I just I don't I just don't think it was a good idea. I think they should have either dealt with the Cersei situation first, then gone to Winterfell, or not Winterfell, you know, uh, the north to deal with them, or just cover enough ground against the wall to try to stop them from breaking in, basically. I, I guess that would be their best bet. But now that they went there. The dragon got there. Now they have a damn dragon. They also killed a couple of their guys. And it was good for Daenerys for her to learn what was going on there. She was there. Awesome stuff. Like I said, loved all the scenes. But at the same time, what the fuck were they thinking? <laughs> for a lot of that, I was like, what are they doing? Um, I enjoyed it, though. I think this was a good episode. I think this was solid. I just think at the same time, they probably should have thought about that plan a little bit more. Uh, thoroughly before jumping into it but then again they are being incredibly rushed that's a big thing that i think they have to think about they are being very rushed to do this they have to do this before uh, you know they come here and attack them and i guess there's also the you know situation with cersei like they need to kind of there's just a lot going on obviously and obviously given the fact that this show or this season is very fast-paced I mean, if this this plot line happened in season three, I think it would have been four episodes long of a plot line, if we're being honest. So, um, I'm I, I like I said, I enjoy it. I just think there was a couple of very convenient things, obviously, but that's it doesn't ruin it for me. If it, it doesn't change the fact that this was this was enjoyable, and I did like a lot of the dialogue with a lot of the characters, uh, especially with like Beric and John. They had a great scene. Daenerys and John, a couple of the scenes towards the end were really fantastic. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below of this episode. Of course, I will be trying to get to the next one as soon as possible. And then, of course, um, going from there. So if you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon. Like that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.